When someone tells you to give something up, it usually sounds pretty bad. I wanted my parents to buy me the computer game Minecraft, and my mom told me I had to give up a whole box of my old toys to earn it. I was horrified. And it was very hard. It took me about two hours. But to me, at least, giving things up for Jesus can still be hard. But in the end, it makes you feel great. In Luke 1, Zechariah was forced to give up his voice when he did not believe that um, he was going to have a son like the angel Gabriel had told him. So he also had to give up his unbelief. Today, God uses our parents to force us to give things up. Like when I get in arguments with Kinley, uh, I get punished by uh, giving up GameCube. Other punishments include uh, giving up devices, Minecraft, and even TV. Not everyone in Luke was forced to give things up. Some people choose to give things up. Levi, who can also be known as Matthew, chose to give up everything he had to follow Jesus. After this, no, Luke, in the Bible, Luke 5, 27 to 28, it says, After this, Jesus went out and saw a tax collector by the name of Levi sitting at his tax booth. Follow me, Jesus said to him. And Levi got up, left everything, and followed him. Levi gave up his job, the money he collected, and probably even his friends because he followed Jesus. Today, we, we also choose to give things up for Jesus. My family chooses to give up time to go to church on Sundays and Wednesdays. We also give up summer break to do L LST, which should not be confused with LTC. LST is a summer program where we teach people from other countries English using the Bible in one hour sessions, which we definitely do not do in LTC. For four to six weeks, I give up my home, my toys, summer sports, uh, to me, normal food, and uh, a cleaner environment and air conditioning to follow Jesus. Just like Zachariah, Levi and our family, you can give things up for Jesus too.